when you go to a new country, in order to learn their culture and connect with their people, you need to learn their language. So in order to understand this universe, you also need to learn their language, and that's science. Everything that moves, whether it's a river, a car, or an airplane, even if it's you walking down the streets, mechanical engineering can explain it, formulate it, and solve it. I got my bachelor and master's in mechanical engineering. During my graduate research, I started to feel that there is something missing. I wanted to use this knowledge and this power to help people in a tangible way, to help them improve their quality of life. And that's when I started working on gay rehabilitation. I read a lot of work from one of the labs at University of South Florida. I shoot an email to Dr. Reed. I told him that I read all of your work and here's what I have done. And I never expected him to reply back, but he did. We did an interview, I applied, and I got accepted into the PhD program. There are more than six million people just in the US suffering from gay disabilities. So in this lab, we try to come up with assistive devices or rehabilitation techniques to help people with walking disabilities. As an engineer, when you see an idea that you have come to life and it's actually make a difference. They're walking easier, they're walking faster, more efficient, and they're happier. And I think that's very rewarding to help someone who cannot work on their own at all to be able to walk. That would be the ultimate goal 